Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify rational expressions by factoring using uh, factoring out the GCF. So what I have here is four different examples and I'm going to show you how to factor out the GCF and then simplify the rational expression. Now again when simplifying rational expressions when we have to use factoring the main important thing is knowing how to apply the difference quotient. Besides knowing how to um, Besides knowing how to factor, we need to understand the difference quotient, which basically means when we have terms that are exactly the same in the numerator and denominator, they divide to 1. Or if we have expressions that are exactly the same in the numerator and denominator, they divide to 1 as long as they are separated by multiplication. And I'll kind of explain that here as we get through the problems. So in the first example here, I have 5x plus 10 divided by 15x plus 5. Now, when we're looking into doing this, solving by factoring, the first thing we're going to do is look at the numerator and the denominator separately and determine what can we actually factor out. So in the numerator, you can see that the 5x and the 10 both share a 5. So, when I fa so what I can do is factor out a 5, and what I'll obtain is 5 times x plus 2. In my denominator here, I can see that, again, they also both share a 5. Um, so therefore, uh, when I factor out a 5, I'm left with 15. When I factor out, I'm like basically it's like dividing out. So 5 fact, or 15x factored out of 5 is going to leave me with a 3x plus 1. Now, by simplifying using the division quotient, I see that I have 5 over 5, which is going to divide to 1. And therefore, I'm just left with the final answer of x plus 2 over 3x plus 1. Um, Yes, I'm not going to use um, where we know x. Um, yeah, I guess I should use the constraints. So remember, in our denominator, we also want to make sure what our denominator cannot equal. So we say 3x plus 1 um, cannot equal 0. And then we solve. And therefore, x cannot equal negative 1 third, right? Because remember, our denominator cannot equal 0, so we go ahead and solve. And just put that as a constraint. We don't really need these parentheses here. x cannot equal negative one third. So now we go over to here and again we're looking into what our common factors are. In our numerator in this case we can see that they not only share a 3 but they also share an x. So when I factor out a 3x I am going to be left with an x minus 8. When I go ahead and factor out here I can see that they also share a 3x so I'm going to factor out a 3x and here I'm going to be left with an x plus 4. Again similar to like this example my 3x divided by 3x divides out, so I'm left with an x minus 4, I'm sorry, x minus 8, divided by x minus, or x plus 4. Now it's very important, I didn't go over it in this one, but remember I talked about the division property only works when terms um, are exactly the same. But that's when only when they're separated by multiplication. You can see this is 3x times x minus 8 and 3x times x plus 4. Here, we can't divide out the x's because they're not multiplied by anything, right? They're not separated by multiplication. You can see they're separated by subtraction with 8 and addition with 4. So therefore, I can't divide this out. But by using my constraint, I say x cannot equal 4. Um, or I'm sorry. x plus 4 cannot equal 0. Subtract 4, subtract 4. x cannot equal negative 4. All right, so now we go into uh, this example where we look at the numerator. I only have one expression. I can't factor anything out with that, so I'm going to leave that as a 4x squared. However, in my denominator, I can see that they both share a 2 and an x. So when I factor out a 2x, I am left with now a 3x minus 4. And now we can see that I can divide out the 4 and the 2. And by using the rules of exponents, I can divide x squared over x, which is just going to leave me with a 2x in my numerator. So that divides to 2, and those divide to x to the first power. So I'm left with the 2x to the first. And then in my denominator, I have 3x minus 4. By again using my constraints, I'm going to do this a little bit faster. We know that 3x minus 4 cannot equal 0. So by solving for x, I say x cannot equal a positive 4 thirds. All right, in the last example here, um, you can see this is pretty, pretty looks pretty confusing, right? But basically, again, just focus on the numerator and the denominator. What does the numerator, what terms does the numerator, um, what terms do our um, two terms in the numerator have in common, as well as what, two, what terms do our denominator um, have in common? So up here, you can see that I can factor out the highest power I can factor out. That's really an x to the first power. So the highest factor of x I can factor out, or the highest power of x I can factor out is an x, and then I can factor out a y cubed. When doing that, I am left with an x, x plus 4. 
Then I go ahead and look at my denominator. And again, I can only pull out an x. And I can pull out a y squared. And when doing that, I'm left with a y minus 3. OK, now again, we're going to use my division property. And again, you can see these are separated by multiplication here. So I can divide these out by using my division property. And then by using my rules of exponents, I'll subtract the powers. And I'm left with a y to the first power. So I have y times x plus 4 divided by y minus 3. And again, Notice that this y is separated by this by multiplication, but this one is not. So therefore, I cannot divide out the y's. Therefore, we also know that y cannot equal a positive 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify rational expressions by using factor, not a GCF. Thanks.